Hi guys, I would like to do, discuss with you to explain what a Doria mode is. What I just played now you heard from the saxophone is a Doria mode. And when we talk about Doria mode, it has been a challenge to most musicians. But I want to explain to you the most easiest way to know what a Doria mode is. A Doria mode is built on the second degree of a major scale. What did I mean a second degree? Now let's take C major scale as our point of explanation. Now a C major scale is the same thing as do we mi fa so la ti do. Now, what does a second degree mean in music? Your second degree just means re. Now I'm doing re mi fa so la ti do re. Re do ti la so fa mi re. That is what a Dorian mode is. And you have said our basic of discussion is C. We are using C as the point of discussion. So if we are now using the second degree of your C, which comes re mi fa so la ti do re, re do ti la so fa mi, that equals what we call the D Dorian mode. Yes. You know when you are on your second degree, that is the key of D. Now, when you now look in that way, it will not sound like do re mo fa so la do do. Yes, it's a so another way to explain the do re mode. The easiest way again is, I believe every musician, every saxophonist can play a major scale. Do re mi fa so la ti do. It's just with you, your rising third and your rising seventh. What did I mean your third? What you do? Do, re, mi. This is your third. Mi is your third. So a rising third will give you more. A rising third will give you more. Your seventh. What you do? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. That is your seventh. So a rising seventh will give you third. So what we will arrive at is going to be do, re, mo, Instead of do, re, mi, you will have what we call a rising third now. Do, re, mo, that is mi does not exist again. It has been replaced by mo. The rest other notes in your major scale exist. Mi does not exist again. It has been replaced with mo. T does not exist again. It has been replaced with to. Who gave us do, re, mo. Fa, so, la, to, do. And it can be explained in different keys. Like what you had I played then, I will, I will come back to explain. I will slow it down. I will explain to you. What I played then, I played like on four keys. I played on my key of C. I played on my key of G, on my key of F and the D-Doria mode itself. So it tells you it can, you can look it in a broader way. You cannot, when you play, when you want to play a Doria mode, sometimes people tell you, re mi fa so la ti do re re do ti la so fa mi, yes. But when you don't expand it to think it in a different key, it becomes boring. Because people just look, ah, ah, is it just re mi fa so la ti do re? You find that people keep repeating notes, repeating notes, because it can be translated to different key and it will sound more better. And you see Dorian mode is used on a minor chord. Get that? A Dorian mode is used on a minor chord. Now, what, what did I mean we have been discussing since? We have been on our C. Do, re, mi. Fa, so, la, ti, do. Now, when I say how to get our Doria mode is from this re now. This is my re now. Everybody, this re, this is my D. Key of D. That is my second. The C, I was supposed to be on C, but now I do. Now be re, mi, fa, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re. Like this. Yet I saw now. <laughs> Fa 
That's if you are looking it at the key of C major. But if you are looking at it on the main key of the D do here now, that becomes do re mo fa so la do do. Now, you know what? Look at it in two different keys now. Re mi fa so la ti do re. It means I can be on C, on re mi fa so la, and I can still imagine that I'm on D do re. Yes. And which also, I can also still be on the D Dorian itself, which is the Remo. And again, let me shock you. I can be on my G, G major, G major. I'm still on my D Dorian. You know, what are you seeing as a saxophonist? Now I just did do mi so to la so fa mi re do on my key of G, which is still the same thing as fa so la to fa so la to. As simple as that. I can still play my D Dorian mode. La ti do re mi so fi. I'm already thinking at it again at the key of my F major. La ti do re mi so fi. Which is this the same thing as do re mo fa so to la. On my D do re itself. Will give me do re mo fa so to la. Why if I'm imagining it on the key of my C? He give me re mi fa so la, re mi fa so la ti do ti, re mi fa so la do ti. La, so it can be played in different way. Now I will explain to you what the first thing I played, the phrase I played, the Dorian phrase. I will break it down to you. So here is the breakdown of the first phrase in the video of the Doria mode I played. I started with I just do re do ti la so fa mi. That is on my key of of C now. La so fa mi on my key of C major. I now combine. I now went to the, my key of F. And then did. La ti do re mi so fi mi re do ti la. Let me first combine these two key for you now. Key of C and key of F. That's what I first did. Now I now added my key of G. My G. I now did. Do mi so to la so fa mi re do. So let me combine my key of C, my key of F, and G together now. I've combined the three keys now. So, we just discussed the combination of the three keys, which is the C, key of F, and key of G. And when I do, we combine the combination of four keys, those are the phrase. Yeah, when we started. So the last keys is <laughs> that is the do yeah. Do mo so to la so fa mo re do. I now end it with 
That's what my did you now, okay? Do re mo re mo re to la so fa mo re do. So, uh, what I just played now, you hear the full of it again one more time. It's going to be played one more time. And see how sweet a do re mode can be. In our next discussion, our next class, I'll be explaining to you how a do re mode can be used on chord application because that's one of the most challenging thing in this world today application so we'll be teaching on the application and for further inquiry or further explanation about this video that you need an, a more explanation you can comment on on the comment box and also you can also reach us at this email to get more information and more explanation see you next time in our next class Stay